Hey beautiful Virgo, welcome in to the Gifted Hermit. I hope you're doing oh so well if you're new to the channel. My name is Lena, I reside in London, UK and I'm also a Virgo. Shouts out to my returning subs, you know who you are, appreciate you. Happy Friday. This is going to be a general love reading. It may or it may not resonate with you. If you find something that does resonate with you, please go ahead and smash the thumbs button. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get into it. So I pulled out the cards for the first question. Who is it that is thinking about you, Virgo? We have all major arcana here, so it feels intense. The energy is buzzing, okay? King of Wands energy, for me, this is an intense character, okay? And I feel like whoever this person is, they're realising something here. Realising, I want you in my life, Virgo. I don't know how, but what I do know is that I want you in my life, somebody here and it's not for everybody there is someone here that believes we're meant to be together now there is some zodiac signs that may jump out for you it doesn't have to be these zodiac signs but with the major arcana we have scorpio energy here taurus libra with the empress card and sagittarius energy there's a couple numbers here shouting out to me as well the number 33 the number 13 the number 30 and the number 23 okay but yeah i see someone realizing something here this person is definitely attracted to you we have an energy where this person sees you as very caring very loving very uh maybe curvaceous you know they love the way that you carry yourself i, I see this as like a physical attraction here now this can all change once i start to clarify but it feels intense with regards to the person that's thinking about you okay so, next question. Who is it that wants Virgo? Whoever it is that wants you. Could be a Pisces. The month of March may have some sort of significance. And things could be just on pause right now. Maybe you let this person go. Who wants Virgo? Three of Pentacles. Who wants Virgo? So, I see good conversations here. Healthy conversations. Yeah, but I see like... With regards to who is it that wants you, there's no communication. Somebody, there's separation here. Somebody walked away, okay? Could have, should have, would have type of energy. Because with the three of pentacles there, I feel like you guys have or did or can make a good team. Who truly loves Virgo? Knight of Wands. So, like, very much physical attraction with the nine of ones their verbs well out of all those nights I, you know i trust the knight of ones the least who truly loves virgo page of swords so there's a lot of spying wondering what it is that you're up to who truly loves virgo who truly wow lovers card so i don't know this this reading generally feels quite intense okay We've got one, two, three, four, five major arcana. It's outweighing the minor arcana. So there's a lot of changes going on right now with regards to feelings. Let's start to clarify. Then we'll see what's coming towards you in love. Okay, so to summarize, who's that's thinking about you? This person believes that this connection is fated maybe they're realizing that they want to reach out to you if there's no communication okay but they're definitely realizing something here okay you are the shit you know what i mean you don't need to be the fuck <laughs> okay let's clarify this judgment card eight of one wow so there's a clear indication here somebody regrets walking away abandoning some there's gonna be a conversation where regret is gonna come onto the topic okay i regret walking away i regret ghosting you i regret saying something i regret treating you that way something here and they're gonna let it off their chest there's gonna be an important conversation coming up for some of you guys okay it's almost gonna be like not even surprising somebody's ready to speak up okay with regards to the person that wants Virgo why is the eight of cups here why did somebody walk away queen of cups self-love had to go with your intuition listen to your heart 
king of wands taking action taking control of your life okay and i feel like with the five of cups they're trying to get out of um this self-pity energy virgo yeah i feel like that's what you needed to do you need to get you need to remind yourself who the flip you are do you know what i mean so with regards to who truly loves virgo tell me more about the page of swords four of pentacles you know somebody here is probably secretly obsessed with you why is the page of swords here they are an intense character they are very alpha or maybe they are obsessed with your <laughs> alpha energy works okay this person's a hard worker i feel like this person has learned a lot about their selves from you okay This person, there's a person here that misjudged you, okay? And they lied about you. I know, very random, but that I had to get out there. So I don't know if any of that made sense. What's coming towards Virgos in love? What's coming towards Virgos in love? Sun card, very nice. What's coming towards Virgos in love? The two of pentacles. And a temperance card. So something very nice is coming towards you. However, I feel like a lot of you guys may question that, okay? Okay, there's an uncertainty here. There's also an energy of you doing a lot of self-work. Mm -hmm. What's coming towards Virgos in love? The star card. I see a lot of you are going to be going for a big shift. I can really feel that Virgo for you. Okay. Especially on the bottom of the deck. It's like you were stuck. But you're going to move on from that. And I see some sort of passion. I see you taking action here. Look at this. New beginnings is coming in here strong for you. Mm -hmm. So what's coming towards you in love is everything as it should be. I do see an uncertainty here. And I see you kind of like not wanting to rush, okay? Building on your confidence as well. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I love you unconditionally. And going back to the person that's thinking about you, I really feel them strongly in your energy. I can't quite explain it. Oracle message for Virgo. Reward yourself. Okay, I'll do that today, Taro. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way, Virgo. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood and motivation at a consistently high level, darling. Okay, a lot of you guys have got people in spirit, you know, they're really right behind you. A hundred, a thousand percent. Any more oracle message, Virgo? See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. And the last card, joy. Joy is the highest energy of all. It is the magical sense that everything is possible, Virgo. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at the highest possible levels. I love it. It feels like it's a time in your life where you're going to attract people more so than other times in your life. Because your energy seems to be shifting in a very positive way. So good for you, Virgo. Remember, you can book me for a personal follow on the socials. Catch me for life tarot. Um, thanks for the continued support. I appreciate you guys. Okay, if you'd like to donate to the channel, there is a PayPal link. If you'd like to just connect, then go ahead. You can direct mess me, message me and we can connect. Thank you for 
everything. As I always say, from one Virgo to another, be kind to others. But most importantly, be kind to you. Have a bombastic weekend. And the gift will catch you on the rebound. Mwah.